Acids, Bases and Salts Part 1 Hello children, Acids and Bases are encountered daily in our everyday lives. They are both an important part of our livelihood. They play an essential role inside or outside our body. From the formation of food to the decomposition of any substance, acids and bases have a role. Let us know about their use in our daily lives. We will go to Raju and his friends to learn more about this. The purpose of this video is to learn about acids, bases and salts. Yesterday being a festival, my mother prepared salty mixtures, pakoras, samosa and a few sweets. My mother has also prepared. However, my father fell sick in between with a lot of stomach ache and could not eat much. Wow Raju, what samosas your mother makes and her tamarind chutney, it is so dangy, spicy and tasty. My food is slightly bitter. My mother gave me the green leafy vegetable curry with the roti. I brought laddus and a little mixture. Wow! A few brought sweets, a few rotis, few green leafy vegetable curry. And I brought parathas and curd. Let us eat quick and share the delicious food. We have science class immediately after the lunch break. Good afternoon children. Did you all have your lunch? Yes, yes sir. sir. Today we brought food with different tastes. Some sour, some sweet, some salty and some bitter. Children, do you all know that different foods have different tastes because of a lot of food contains acids, bases and salts? Acidic. I heard that acids are dangerous. Lata was telling me yesterday. Oh no, not all acids are dangerous. Mamta, make a list of the foods you eat that are mostly sour. Tamarind chutney, orange, tamarind, curd, samosa, guava, apple and... That's enough. Thank you. Do you know that all these foods contain acids? which causes sourness in them. Acid in our foods? Yes, all these are natural acids. What happens when you eat food? It gets digested. Yes, your body also produces some acids and they help in digestion of food. I see. So there are some good natural acid as well. Yes. The acids that are there in our school's lab are very powerful and dangerous and need to be used with caution. They are high in acidic content and low in water content. Children, the acids that are used in the labs are very corrosive and concentrated. We should never taste them as our tongues will get burnt. Sir, my father had stomach pain yesterday. When we went to the doctor, he said my father had acidity. He gave him some medicine. He said it was some antacid. Sir, does the medicine nullify the acids? Yes, due to spicy food and also flatulent food, stomach becomes acidic. And due to this, people have acidity. If we take antacids at that time, we get relief. Antacids have bases. Do bases nullify the effect of acids? Yes, we shall talk about this tomorrow. My father was feeling better after two hours yesterday, after he took the medicine. Bases are the chemical compounds which are soapy in touch and are not usually meant for human consumption. They are bitter in taste. They have a wide range of applications in our daily life. They have hydroxide ions present in them and acids have hydrogen ions present in them. Sir, can you please explain in detail? 
When acid dissolves in water, it releases hydrogen ions. Acids have hydrogen in them like HCl, hydrochloric acid, HNO3, nitric acid, H2SO4, sulfuric acid, etc. Sir, do bases have more hydroxide ions in them? Base is any compound that yields hydroxide ions, OH, when dissolved in water. Example, sodium hydroxide, NaOH, magnesium hydroxide, MgOH2, potassium hydroxide, KOH. Sir, can you please give some examples of bases? Limestone, baking soda, washing soda are all bases. Does soap also have base? Yes, soap nut is a natural soap which has a base. Mother uses soap nut to wash her hair. Yes. Children, can you tell whether there are acids or bases in toothpaste, chalk piece and spinach? Sir, some items are sweet. Do they have acids or bases in them? They have neither acids nor bases. Some substances have neither acids or bases. What will happen when acids and bases get mixed? Rinku, when acids and bases meet, generally salts are formed along with water. Oh, I see. The salt we consume is formed due to combining of hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. Very interesting! Sir, there must be some indicator to determine whether a substance is having acid or base. We cannot taste each and every substance to determine whether it contains acids or bases. The time is over now. Let us talk about it tomorrow. Children, we have come to know the difference between acids and bases. While acids dissolve in water, most bases do not dissolve in water. In the next video, we will learn about the indicators that determine whether substances contain acids or bases. Until then, see you! Acids, Bases and Salts Part 3 Hello children! In the previous video, you had learned how to differentiate between acids and bases. As both acids and bases are generally colourless, indicators play an important role in differentiating the two. When acids and bases meet, what happens? Hmm, shall we go back to Raju? We might find answers from him, his friends or his teacher. What are you waiting for? He is playing with his friends in the school. The objective of this video is to learn about neutralization reaction. It is fun playing football. Oh yes, pass the ball to me. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, Rinko, let me see what happened. Looks like you have been bitten by a bee. Come, let us go to the teacher. Raju, Mohan, Rama, Rinku has been bitten by a bee. I am taking her to the teacher. Sir, Rinku has been bitten by a bee. Oh ho, Rinku, do not cry. I shall immediately apply baking soda near the wound. Sita, please hold her hand. Sir, what are you going to do? This is the paste of baking soda and water. Rinku, show me your hand. You will immediately get the relief. Sir, I am feeling a shade better. Can I go home and take rest? Yes, you go home. You will be fine in a few hours. If your pain and swelling will not subside, go to the doctor. 
Yes, sir. Sita, go with Rinku. Okay, sir. Sir, how can baking soda be a medicine to an insect bite? When a bee stings, it releases an acid on our body. We feel the pain due to this. Sir, but acid and baking soda, baking soda is a base. Oh ho, Raju, you forget everything. When acids and bases mix, then salt and water is produced. Did sir not mention this in the class day before yesterday? Mohan is right. Both acids and bases nullify each other's effect. Salt and water are formed. This is called neutralization. In this case, baking soda nullified the effect of the acid produced by the sting. Hmm, I now remember. Children, think and tell me the things around you which can also be applied for such wounds. Hmm. So, can we apply toothpaste at the place of a bee sting? Yes, when insects sting, these bases reduce the pain of the sting. Looks like neutralization has a lot of benefits. Yes. Sir, that day Sita was saying that when her father had acidity, doctor gave him a medicine. Yes, and doctors gave him an antacid. This medicine is a base and is also called milk of magnesia. One gets relief in a few hours with this. Oh, so this is also neutralization. Sir, where else does neutralization help? Sometimes, due to the increase in hydrogen ions in soil, the acidic content of the soil increases. This happens when there is a use of fertilizer in a large quantity. Oh, so will it affect crop production? Yes. The soil should not be too acidic or too basic. And when the soil is acidic, lime is used to reduce it. Sir, I had read in the chapter on plants that manure is also useful for the soil. When is it used? Yes, children. When the soil becomes alkaline, manure is used. When manure is put in the soil, the organisms living in it make the soil acidic. This makes the soil good for crops. Hmm. Sir, we had also read this in the lesson on waste water. Yes, we had studied that acidic substances are found in the waste of factories. Well said. When waste of factories is allowed to flow directly into water reservoirs, acidity in water can destroy living organisms. Many organisms also die and water gets polluted. Then the base is added to water? Yes. That is why the waste of the factories is mixed and neutralized before sending it to the reservoirs. Usually lime is added. Thank you, sir. You have given us so much information on neutralization. Thank you, children. Children, both acids and bases play an important role in our daily lives. Mixing both of them is called neutralization. In this video, you have learnt about neutralization and its various benefits. We shall meet again.